What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about crankbaits, but in particular a couple of crankbaits that you may not have tried before. Maybe you've seen them, maybe you've heard them, but I'm gonna tell you why I like to throw them. Yes, I've caught quite a few fish on these, so I can tell you they're tried, true, and tested. Tested, tried, and true, I don't know. Anyways, you get the point. I've used them before and caught a lot of fish. So I'm gonna talk about three different crankbaits. Really quickly, they're gonna help you catch fish as we move into this fall transition. Let's break it down. All right, in no particular order, we're gonna start uh, with the one that I just already have tied on, all right, uh, with my cranking set up here. Um, and that is gonna be the Bill Lewis MR6. Uh, I'll tell you what I really like about this crankbait. It's, a, it's about a five to six foot diver. You can kind of see a little bit of an elongated bill here. Um, and you can also see a little bit of a thinner body, right? That little thinner body compared to most, like your normal square bills. Um, and this profile, I really like this profile. The eyes are really well. I like this paint design, like this purple on top, a little bit of a chartreuse hue on bottom. I forget what this color is called, uh, but you can find it on Bill Lewis's website, the MR6. I am not uh, sponsored or partnered with them. I used to be on the Bill Lewis Pro Staff team, which is when I came to know about this particular crankbait. They have since made the MR12, I believe. I've not tried it, that's a new release this year but I imagine it works just the same, just dives deeper, probably in that eight to 12 foot range. But the MR6, I really like, I've caught a lot of fish on it. Uh, it's got a really, pretty like that kind of loud, louder one knock rattle, right? But it's got a great sound, great design, uh, and gets a little bit deeper. Where I like to throw this is, especially on some of those rocky bank uh, or, or kind of rip wrap along bridges, uh, because they're pretty steep, right? So I want to throw it right up shallow and then run it down that steep edge and uh, just that slow retrieve. This lure uh, moves really well side to side because it's a little bit thinner. It's not necessarily considered to be a flat side, but it's a little bit thinner than your normal crankbait. And uh, I really like this size and profile and this particular color this year. It just gets it done. Now, before I get into the other two, I will tell you really quickly, I love throwing... <laughs> these crankbaits on the KVD lose reel. Um, I only laugh because when I first bought this reel or was looking at it, I wasn't really sold on the red color uh, because all my least favorite teams are red. Uh, so a and OU, Arkansas, Nebraska, as a Texas fan, like all those are my least favorite schools. So I didn't really like the red, but it does match this TFO rod really well. This is a 7.4 medium heavy glass rod from TFO, but paired with this KVD Lose Reel, and I believe this is 14 pound fluorocarbon. Um, this is just a great, great setup. Uh, I would say this glass rod is gonna help you hook fish and keep them pinned as they're coming to the boat and jumping. Uh, the, this, the, I will not throw uh, really any type of uh, treble hooks without the glass rod. It works so well. And this KVD Reel, once you get it dialed in, uh, man, it is super smooth, great to use. I also use the BB-1 Pro uh, as well. So I've got now four different crankbait setups, uh, kind of a, a square bill, medium diver, a deep diver, and then one that I use kind of like a, like a little bit of, of a I don't know, shallow to medium, or maybe even like a lipless when I want to throw kind of all four of those in different areas. Um, so the BB-1 Pro, I actually have two of them. I like them a lot as well, but the Loose KVD does a great job. Let's talk about the other two crankbaits now. All right, so I'm sitting here talking about the fall transition as I'm like glistening in sweat because it was nearly nearly 100 degrees day in Dallas in the middle of September. Uh, it was like 97, so it's pretty warm in the garage right now. But uh, let's talk about these other two crankbaits. All right, so the first one, uh, we'll go on the, the other side of, of pretty small. This is a little 1.5 square bill by Castaic. Uh, I'll let you hear the rattles. So not that kind of harder knocking sound, but kind of a la lighter sound here in the Castaic 1.5. But this color in Citrus Shad, let me grab it. Uh, but this Citrus Shad color, uh, man, it's caught some great fish. Uh, I've caught fish on Ray Roberts. I've caught fish on Lake Louisville. Uh, those are somewhat tough lakes, but, but this one has really performed and delivered. And those hooks, the Castaic, uh, those are previously the Katana brand. Uh, these are now just the Castaic hooks. Uh, they've incorporated that brand just in the Castaic. But uh, this little square bill does really well, comes in some great colors. Make sure you go check this one out from Castaic. Uh, but I really, really love this. 
bounces off the timber really well. When bass are keyed in on the smaller bait fish, this little 1.5 gets it done. And uh, it's still heavy enough that I can really cast it pretty far and get some good distance on it. So make sure you guys go give that one a try. Now I should say I am on the cast steak uh, influencer team and the pro staff team. So just to let you know, uh, just don't wanna disclose that. I'm also on the monster bass team as you see behind me and this is their crankbait, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Hammerhead 1.5. Now this one, if I'm gonna hold the hooks, is virtually silent. There's a really, really small sound in it. I mean, it's almost unnoticeable. It's just the weight that's in it to give you some castability. Um, but this was designed uh, and, and I guess co-designed by Alex Rudd, painted by Zach Messer over at Messer Bates. But again, uh, I really like that chartreuse on top. I'm sorry, purple on top, chartreuse on bottom. But the Hammerhead 1.5 is a silent square bill. Now, I wasn't quite sure what silent square bills meant or why they were important when I first started fishing them. But I quickly realized on pressured bodies of water, right? Um, so for example, I'm gonna be going to Lake Fort next month for, uh, for a couple of days. On pressured bodies of water, those fish are used to hearing this, right? They're used to hearing that. But all of a sudden they see this come by and there's no sound it's just something that's a little bit different, right? So on your clear bodies of water, pressure bodies of water, sometimes when you're just not getting bites with the normal rattle of a square bill, switch over to a silent version and see if you don't get more bites. I know it's worked for me, especially on clear bodies of water. I really like the silent version, uh, whereas on other bodies of water that are maybe, you know, two, three foot visibility, which is actually pretty clear here for Texas, I like the louder version, okay? So something to consider, something to try. So real quick re recap, we have the MR6 from Bill Lewis. I'm gonna let that one hang for just a minute. We've got, uh, I'll keep them in the same order. We've got the Citrus Shad, that 1.5 square bill by Castaic, with those awesome hooks. Um, uh, that MR6 has some great hooks as well. And then the Hammerhead 1.5 Silent Square Bill by Monster Bass, which by the way, these are also the same hooks uh, right here, the Katana hooks. Uh, those are the same ones, just a little bit bigger size. That is one size up because the square bill is just a little bit bigger by Monster Bass. But the three of those, check them out. I promise you, you're gonna have some success with them as you move into the fall transition. Bass will be keyed on some smaller baits. These white and chartreuse colors uh, really do well and perform well. Check those out. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. Let me know what's working for you. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned, we got more videos coming, some more great content as we pump some out. I'm so much uh, looking forward to some cooler weather uh, because dadgum, it is hot out fishing and it's also hot out making these videos. Fish will move shallower as the night gets cooler. Look for that wherever you're at and get out there and go catch some more fish. If nobody told you today, God loves you and so do I. Peace out.